Hello, today we'll be looking at what a library database is. Many of you will have a professor or instructor ask you to find information in a library database. They may tell you that this is where you get books, journal articles, or other kinds of scholarly information. Today we will look at the largest database the libraries has, OneSearch, and compare it to something more familiar. Have you ever shopped for something online? Chances are that you have. Most of us are probably familiar with something like Amazon. Let us take a closer look at how Amazon is laid out. On Amazon, we have a search box at the top where we are currently trying to find headphones. On the left, you will see filters we can use to limit our results to be more specific and more focused. Once we find something we want, we click on it and get more information about it and a way to buy it. Amazon is a database of consumer goods people use all the time. A database is basically just a searchable list of stuff. The key here is being searchable. If you think about it, you probably use databases all the time, such as Netflix or Hulu to watch movies and shows, and Spotify or Apple Music to listen to songs. The course catalog is a searchable list of courses you can take, so it too is a database. Even Google, a searchable list of the internet, is a database. Remember, a database is just a searchable list of stuff. So then, what is a library database and why do your instructors keep telling you to use it? A library database is a searchable list of different information sources. These can include, but are not limited to, journals and journal articles, books, video, conference proceedings, and other types of information sources that libraries collect. Let us take a quick look and compare the library one search to Amazon. In Amazon, we had a search bar at the top for our keywords, filters on the left to help narrow our search, and results we could click on to get that item or more information about it. Here we see the same thing with our search box at the top, our filters on the left, and our results that we can click on to get more information. Let's look at our search results. Here we have gone into the record or description about the piece of information, and we can learn a bit more. This is also a place where we can get the item in full text. Unlike Amazon though, you don't have to pay for this. The UB libraries have already bought you access. Remember that if you are asked to use a library database, it is just a searchable list of stuff like journals and journal articles, books, video, etc. And you are already familiar with databases like Amazon, the Course Catalog, Google, and Netflix.